Okay, folks, welcome to this episode of Rumble. Uh, today, my guest is, um, well, it's not a job job as you would normally look like, you know, office manager somewhere, scientist or researcher, or none of that shit. He is actually a photographer and he stumbled into photography. Let me tell you the truth. That's what he told me. He wanted to do something else, but he ended up doing this. So welcome to the show, Venkat. Hi, sir. Very and very uh, please tell me, you, you said you are now a full-fledged photographer. As a profession, you handle it. Yeah. No longer just taking pictures of girls and guys <laughs> and friends. True, true. Now it's full-time. Yeah. It's how full-time. did that happen? How did you, I mean, I, I'm asking you how because a lot of people want to know how to become a photographer. Like if you say how to become a photographer, would you take, advise people to take the same route that you did? <laughs> uh, not exactly. I mean, I've been through a lot of um, a trouble to become a photographer as okay. such because there's been a peer pressure from my family where I had to be, uh, I had to be a proper uh, engineer. And, and, well, know, that still goes on. Still, still goes on. Engineer, still, still, doctor, still, uh, okay. still goes on. And, and, and my dad was hell bent on me uh, going to uh, uh, London, getting myself a, a graphic designing degree or a MBA or whatever. I mean, he they were ready to throw me out of the country. So, um, my photography journey has been very simple. I started uh, doing photography when I was my tenth standard. Okay. I went and joined a guy. Uh, he was a passionate photographer. I mean, he's not a professional guy, but he was a passionate photographer. I saw he was able to give his eyes to me okay. in terms of photography. So I went to him and I, he was quite a serious guy when I met What's him. What's his name? His name is Bhuvanesh. Okay. He lives in Indonesia. He's, a, he's an arts professor right now. All right. So he teaches in the international school in Jakarta. Okay. So and he teaches photography? He doesn't teach photography. He teaches just painting. just his passion. Photography was his eye for photography is still there. Okay. He's converting that into paintings, not into uh, photography as such. Okay. So I went and joined him and then uh, my I, my parents were still hell-bent on me getting into engineering and all that. Till my sixth month of my 11th standard, I mean, that is the prime period where you were by the you design, physics, you biology, yeah. and chemistry and stuff. So I, I, I went there and then I, I had a really crazy fight with my, uh, one of my physics professor. He was, a, he was, you know, kind to trip on me all the time and all that. I thought anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I, I think I can uh, have my hands on art. Why, why do I become an architect or an engineer or okay. all that? So I, I went to my uh, principal. For um, guidance or to, for guidance or you just, you just No, no, no. I just walked to him. That afternoon, morning, I had a terrible episode with my physics teacher. I walked to him randomly and said, you know what, I, I'm not meant to do science here. I want to I want to move to commerce. I don't have a problem. It's okay if I, if I lose a year. I don't want to study under that fellow. As simple as that. I mean... Okay. Oh, it was just the teacher who turned you off. Yep. So I said, okay, fine. So I went and joined uh, uh, commerce. I was a pretty, pretty bad student in, in as far as education is concerned. So... Um, uh, it was not my cup of tea. I mean, so that, that I figured out from the third month of my 11th standard. So I, I kind of had a tiff with him, and then I went and told my principal. He was like, "What's wrong with you? Are you gone mad? You have you're supposed to be your family and all that." I kind of went and explained to my parents. Very lucky to have a very uh, strong support in terms of family. They said, "Okay, do order whatever you want. I mean, you carry on with your thing as long as you feel." You are determined find to waste the family money, so go choose the way you want it. <laughs> Simple as that. So I got into that. Um, I, I I passed out in in I passed out of my twelfth in a very very uh, colorful way. I mean, I I got I got like forty nine point two percent when I was in my tenth standard. But I got did you like, get any grace marks? I always wanted to know. I met a professor uh-huh. who was cursing the fact that schools now give grace marks to everybody. I definitely so nobody, got. I got grace marks. Otherwise, I would have lost a year in my tenth standard. Okay, so is that a good thing or a bad thing? I was lucky. <laughs> so, passing it is still considered good. Yeah. Because he, he was saying that is what is destroying Indian education system. Simply giving pass marks to all the monkeys, you know, who are not worth anything. They just give the pass marks and make them jump into the next class. I, I think every, I, I think in India or, or the education system, I think there has to be more of a, a skill set given to kids than giving just uh, education as, as, as... I mean, this book knowledge is not enough. Not, not enough. Like which which school did you study? I studied in a, in Kola Permal. It's a school on on uh, Poonamalai Road. Okay, and so they same. It was a Vaishnav institution, and my college was in uh, uh, Vaishnav College. Okay, so that's how the transition was like so, one so, door so, away. <laughs> so so you don't think that you practically learned anything from school? Ha! Huh, uh, from school, I learned that uh, I was not fit enough uh, <laughs> for a science graduate. <laughs> okay, okay. And in college, uh, I, I college. The only thing I learned is 
uh, I think how to make uh, how, how do I uh, how I can make like uh, um, people uh, like happy okay. uh, having fun all right so <laughs> that kind of stuff okay. I was just having fun in college so you so you had really had no plan this is the way I want to go in my life or absolutely nothing. I had so no plan was my plan. left it to charts no plan was my okay plan. so you ended up in Viscom which is why I'm talking to you because Viscom yes. students now almost everybody I talk to yeah. are all uniformly ill-informed about things they don't even go to college sure. they have professors who don't teach them anything many places they don't have no professors <laughs> very true so how did you get into Viscom and what did you learn do you think it was worth it Viscom is 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 a very um, it's a very vague subject as such. All right, so you heard that from him. Ask a specific question about Viscom. He says vague, so we'll come back and find out how vague is it actually. 